just ended up taking it off and leaving it in Baja. So anyway, we're here getting uh, new tents and picking up our trailer, really. So there, that's the financial benefit to it all, you know? Me and my brothers were able to sell our, our business and my mission throughout business life was to share the culture of care with as many people as possible. left the motorhome behind and we are just in the Jeep in the trailer in our two brand new beautiful CVT tents. Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road Trip. Trip. We drove up uh, from Baja yesterday which was just the most amazing experience. Hard to even describe how awesome it was but uh, we spent the night at the KOA in San Diego and just took out everything that got soaked. And uh, if you haven't seen the video, um, go watch it. You'll see why all our sleeping bags and tents and everything were pretty drenched, but uh, and it wasn't rain. So um, anyway, we dried everything out, cleaned everything up, got repacked, reorganized, hitched the Jeep up to the motorhome, got the bikes onto the Jeep, and we are now making our way north again. We're it's a little crazy, but we're going all the way back up to uh, Oregon, but we're doing it for a business reason. We were shooting a video, a promotional video, but um, anyway, so it's a couple of days drive back up to Oregon. There's still snow on the ground up to where we're going, so um, it'll be a bit big difference from Baja, Mexico, but hey, it's fun and it's uh, all part of driving things forward, so here we go. So we just pulled into CVT's warehouse where we're going to be getting our trailer's tent and our Jeep's tent refitted with CVT tents. But we just need to take off the, uh, the bikes off the back of the Jeep and put them on the RV so they can start installing. Careful with that one. Cascadia Vehicle Tents, CVT Rooftop Tent Company, getting two new rooftop tents put on, one on the Jeep because we've completely worn out the one we have, We're using it every day in, uh, in New Zealand, plus uh, it got mildewy because it got wet and, we, and then shipped, so all that heat and moisture wasn't good for it, so we tried to clean it, we still used it, but it's at it, it's it's done now. When we were down in Baja, when the tide came in, if you've seen that video, um, the sand went right up the stairs and jammed it all up. And then we tried to hit it with a sledgehammer and broke it. And then we just ended up taking it off and leaving it in Baja. So anyway, we're here getting uh, new tents and picking up our trailer, which we've had for a couple of years now and never really uh, had it with us just because of our configuration. So that's going to be exciting. But we're putting the max tracks on the trailer. They're doing a special mount for us. They also lifted the rack where the tent sits on. So it's going to be a sweet little rig when it's done. We'll show you. We'll show you how it looks. You guys better get out of here. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much. Likewise. You guys. Likewise. 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 Likewise.
the proof is in the eating of the pudding, basically. I mean, for us, we focused on treating our employees right, creating a remarkable environment for them. That inspired them to create a remarkable experience for our customers. When you take care of customers, you, you, they buy more from you, you get more referrals, you get more customers. Then we started to expand nationally and internationally. Our company began to grow and the financial benefits were amazing. I mean, the, the, the profits are a reward for doing the right things. And that was really our experience. And it all led to a little landscape company that a couple of kids started with a borrowed lawnmower, which ended up getting acquired by a huge private equity firm, which is just the American dream, really. So there, that's the financial benefit to it all, you know. Me and my brothers were able to sell our, our business and I was, my mission throughout business life was to share the culture of care with as many people as possible. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. When the morning standing at your door, brighter than the morning's come before, brighter than the morning's come before. Morning, we're up here in Smith Rock. Kids in the background climbing up, getting set up. Um, you can see the riverway down there is such a beautiful place. One of our favorite places to mountain bike, do some rock climbing, amazing hiking. Smith Rock, Oregon. If you're ever in Oregon, come check it out. Today we're uh, we have a film crew here, and we're shooting a demo reel for my speaking uh, business, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it looks like we're packing up for a trip. What's happening here, Pete? Yeah, so we're packing up everything, getting the trailer and the Jeep ready for a two-month overlanding trip in Arizona. After that epic journey down to Baja with our Jeep, we decided to leave our motorhome behind. It's a bit of a jump for us. I mean, we, have, we did spend six months in a Jeep in New Zealand, so we got some good practice at overlanding, and we've done some side trips, but now we're, 
we left the motorhome behind and we are just in the Jeep in the trailer in our two brand new beautiful CVT tents. Um, we, we really enjoy this kind of adventure. In fact, it was the kids' idea. They love getting close to nature, sleeping in a tent, cooking out of the back of the Jeep. Come with us as we take the adventure to the next level. Nice setup. The only downside is the trailer we just realized has to be hitched up before the bikes. So we have to take all the bikes off again, take the bike rack off, hitch up the trailer, and then put them all back on. But you only make that mistake once, right? a little spot we found on iOverlander app so and when they said it was pot there's potholes and rough roads they weren't joking but um, we'll see where it leads and we'll let you know if this is a nice camp spot there's a, a lake out there and nothing but nothing but wilderness so it's pretty neat So for the past three years, we've been doing a combination of motorhome and Jeep uh, travel. We've uh, towed the Jeep around North America several times and we stayed at campgrounds, a mix of campgrounds and wilderness areas um, from Alaska to uh, Newfoundland and places like that. But we are, the kids are getting older and they really enjoy the completely off the grid living and uh, remote backcountry driving and stuff like that. So. We have left our motorhome behind and this is our first night and we went on iOverlander uh, app and we found this remote place with the hot springs just in the middle of just absolutely gorgeous Oregon, Central Oregon uh, or Eastern Oregon uh, countryside. You can see the kids hiking up the, the butte back there and we just heard coyotes a minute ago and we are cooking up a dinner. We've got the two brand new tents. We've got uh, a Shasta Summit um, CVT tent. And this one is, hang on, I can't remember the model name of this one, but it's awesome. This is a four person, and so the kids are in there. They have a little divider. Caroline has her room, and the boys have their room. We're just so excited, um, but we are kind of testing this out for the next two months, living as far off the grid as we can, hitting some of the most remote places in, in America. And uh, when we get back, the, the motorhome will be repaired, and we're going to make a decision whether we sell it and uh, do this kind of stuff full time, or we go back to motorhome living. But we've, you know, we've kind of done that. RVing is fun; it's great for small families, but also for retired people. And we're neither. It was great when our kids were young; and they're older now. So I don't know. Let's try this out. We'll see. You know what? You guys will be coming with us every step of the way, and you'll see if it's fun if it's something we want to do, and if it's something that works for you and your family. I think we're 
somewhere around Burns, Oregon, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we drove out quite a ways onto this just dirt road into the middle of nowhere here. Where we're camped, we're right beside some hot springs and really cool because they're just coming right out of the ground, obviously, but this area is gorgeous. It was pretty exciting coming in too because we finally get to use our adventure trailer that we picked up on our at our first expo, actually, before we even went to New Zealand or anything. So we got that all outfitted as you would have seen from the footage prior to this. And now that's the tent that me and Dan are gonna be in most of the time. And driving out here was sick. It's just a, like I said, just a dirt road. Tons of potholes. We were on I Overland, I believe the app is called. And that's how we found this place. And the, it said that there was potholes on it and it really meant it, but it was beauty because the trailer handled it well and the Jeep very well. It's sweet, I just love overlanding. We're all so excited to be out here again doing some stuff in just two months now. I hope we can be in as much of untouched stuff as this. Me and Dan were walking up this hill here and while we were walking, we were looking around for cool rocks and stuff and I found a obsidian arrowhead, what looks to be one, because the edge looked like it was being worked on or like napping it's called. This seems that the bottom's broken, so either it was used or it was, while being worked on, it cracked off, so it was discarded, but it's pretty cool. That is a neat find. Yeah. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.